Just close your eyes until you're 29. Just close your eyes until you're 29. We're unstoppable. We're unstoppable. As you guys could see, it was super passionate. I'll say it again. Um, Monday morning, super gloomy in New York. Uh, really trying to figure out how to show you guys these meetings. So uh, this is how I want you to start the vlog, Tyler, period. You can take care of the rest. You know I never impose, but I'm desperate to, uh, to figure out how to hack in here. So let me try to figure this out. So first meeting was uh, with Steve Babcock, the chief creative officer, and Claude, the head of HR. I'm just auditing the 200 people in the department who's killing it. I think it's imperative to dig deep and spend time with your A players. I want to do more of that going into the uh, rest of my career. Um, and then talking about who's struggling and making sure we're giving them radical candor. I think you never want to be in a place where you surprise people if they're struggling. And I think at times when you're good peeps, you kind of want to hold it in. And I think we do that in our real lives and I think we do it in organizations. And so that's very much top of mind. So I did that. Uh, then jumped into a meeting here with Alan. Alan is the CFO and just getting the updates to how August went, what went well, what didn't go well. Plenty did not go well. Plenty of stresses. This tone that you're feeling for me comes from that as I'm processing like how do I get better. Then fun things happen like Andy K gets a new haircut and it puts me in a good mood. Show him those sides, show him that fade, Andy. Yeah, you know, and so, you know, for all the, the headaches, you get some awesome news like Andy's new haircut and makes you feel good. Headed to Amsterdam, I don't know what DRock's doing. This guy just sitting there thinks he's fancy. This is how the places run these days, I guess. So, plenty of work to do. Hey everybody, this is Gary Vaynerchuk. Super pumped about uh, my trip to Singapore. Big shout out to Slush. Uh, very excited about doing this Q&A. Let's get into it, D-Rock. What's been your biggest mistake and how did you recover? You know, I think my biggest mistakes have been the things that I haven't done. Investorally in, in Uber, pass on TV shows that became monster hits. Um, um, you know, I'm just crippled by opportunity. So my mistakes are not, I did this, I lost, I came back up. They're hidden mistakes, which in a lot of ways are even worse because you're always wondering what if, what if, what if. Uh, or, or mental strains, you know, you're, you wanna win and you're always questioning like, I mean, should have I started VaynerMedia? Like should have I gotten into my family's business? Would I have gone to Silicon Valley? you know, in 1996 and made a gadrillion. I don't know, I mean, it all is what it is. I, I can't complain, I don't dwell. I hate these questions, to be very frank with you, because you're asking me to look back and I think that's a fundamental flaw. Uh, it just doesn't matter what my biggest mistakes are. It, it just matters what I do with those things going forward and so that's where I'm at. I you to review uh, first piece for crushing it. Go ahead. So hey YouTube, uh, so this is Colin, very handsome and very smart. Colin helps, is basically my copywriter, ghostwriter of my current stuff, Steph Lamb writes the books, but for these articles you've been seeing from Medium and uh, GaryVentrick.com, um, this was a whole new thing we're doing called Crushing It, which is more him interviewing people that are following the thing, Crushing It, the book coming out in January. But my blog posts, he takes content from the web, starts the framework, pitches me the concepts of like articles that we should be writing based on what he's seeing in the zeitgeist. I say yes or no, transcribes my words into English, asks me five to seven questions to add more to it, then reads it back, and then uh, I change an adjective or two here and make sure it's my voice, but that's how I scale with the infrastructure. As I heard him say, 90% of people won't do this, it's what got me started. The key reason that people win in the 2017 Flip Challenge, like what does this hammer work for in anything, is the upfront work and research. Babin didn't hear that I have creators now and wants to learn while they're here. He was a creator as a 12, 13, when did you start making, video? when did you start, nine. The upfront work. So anybody who's trying to do the 2017 flip challenge, 7.99, better than zero. Go and study all the sold results of stuff that you see, so that you become educated, and then go find it. Go ahead, guys. Everybody, listen. You don't have to be that well. Like Americans, especially Americans, you have shit around your house. Literally, clothes you don't wear anymore that can start that capital. This is the great story. Keep going. They quit his job, uh, working at the mall. Anybody yeah. that works at a mall should quit right now and do the 2017 flip challenge. Now, when I say quit right now, quit mentally. Do what this dude did and get some sort of base over the next month and get the fuck out of there by December. I've just become completely and utterly obsessed with the disruption of, I basically think what's happening in the creative production world is what happened with Uber and Amazon. What do I wanna do? I wanna let the market come to me. Uh, just talking about Vayner Productions, our production facility out in Long Island City. 
operations, make it better, make it better. What are we doing? How are we servicing ourselves? How are we gonna service the outside market? How are we gonna produce original content? Like fucking just running an organ. This is just a meat and potatoes kind of episode, I hope. Run my business, X. I got this soft setting, uncomfortable energy on my mind. I've been at this seven years and watch family fall behind. I'm losing touch with my people. I'm growing good with the best. You know, uh, if we didn't think we were capable of building one of the biggest firms, uh, built on, you know, I think everybody talks the same game, so to me it's just gonna be about execution. Just got off a phone call with uh, with uh, some Vayner Sports business, uh, so working on that, and now jumping on a call with uh, actually a former uh, contestant on Planet of the Apps. I'm not a I'm not a one and done guy, you know. I'm in the business of people forever. Looking at Babin right now, who I love so much, who's now in my heart and family. Do I want him to be with me and with me forever? Yes. Do do I see a scenario where tomorrow or seven years from now he may want to go do something else? Sure. Uh, but does that mean that it's like done and see ya? Absolutely not, always in the family. Obviously people that are there, you gotta treat you a little bit better, otherwise everybody would leave, but that's that. Same way I think about Vayner Sports. If a kid signs with us, he blows out his knee, he's in the Gary V Vayner Sports business. He comes and works at Vayner, I get him a job, I get him or her a job, like that's what I'm about. Uh, and then and that's what I'm doing with those contestants. Um, and so I like that. You need, to be, you need to be optimistic and patient and everything will work out. And if you're not, it won't. The end. You're fucking 21. Like I get that you wanna apply it. Like I wanna apply it too. Lack of patience, bro. Wrap your head around not giving a fuck about any advancement to your 29, but then every day trying to get better, you will fucking win. Just close your eyes until you're 29. Patience, man, patience. Everybody's looking up to audit themselves where they are now. I promise you, show me everybody you think is fancy at 22. Show me where they were fucking laying in their vomit in their dorm room. You know what I mean? Like cool, like I get it. Like I mean just to, don't vomit in your dorm room and work every day but don't look at yourself at 21. Do you know what I mean? Just close your eyes until you're 29. Just close your eyes until you're 29. All your buddies for the next 10 years are gonna be judging themselves. She and he are gonna be looking around and being like where am I, where am I? Everybody who's trying to figure out where they are. You need to be thoughtful. But people are dwelling. There's a big difference between awareness and dwelling. Be aware where you're at. I'm always aware where I'm at. But I don't dwell. I don't obsess over. And people that dwell and obsess on where they're at in their 20s lose. Close your eyes. It's not a place, it's not a season. All right, pretty shitty uh, travel experience. Flight had some issues, couldn't find our driver. Got a cab, wasted a shitload of time. Jordan hates wasting time, I hate it more. Workout next. I'm going to Amsterdam right now, looking forward to it. I'm having a huge problem with my TSA. Tyler Z, not happy. I'm not fancy, it's just those minutes count. So, 